I'll talk in politics. Former Minister of Information and Communication, Frank Weke Jr., has dumped the People's Democratic Party for the All Progressives Grand Alliance, ABGA, <coughs> excuse me, in Enugu State. Dr. Nweke served under former President, uh, President Ulushago Abasanja from 2003 to 2007 and is one of the pioneer members of the PDP. Bam Dele Ajayi reports. Political activities in Enugu State are slowly building up and various political parties, interest groups are now consulting. Even though Enugu State has been governed by the PDP since 1999, the oppositions are not resting as it is ready to rest to power out of the hands of the PDP. One of the moves towards achieving this is the defection of the former Minister of Information and Communication to the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA. So, the founding philosophy of ABGA is therefore anchored on the egalitarian principles of fairness equity, justice, being our brothers and sisters keepers, and giving everyone a sense of belonging, all of which are important components of the Igbo worldview. Dr. Nweke says he has concluded his new party registration for what local government and now to the state. We have decided to move not for lack of trying, but because of the insincerity of this party at almost uh, every level. And so uh, that is the reason why I decided to join um, ABGA today. He believes his background and sentiment around ABGA will bring about quality leadership in the party. Elsewhere, the youth of Enugu State have challenged young individuals who want to participate in the forthcoming election to throw their heart in the ring. The youth group advocates for sound reasoning to prevail by engaging and mirror the aspirant achievement before joining politics. Uh, so far, we've been able to have uh, a lot of young people who are getting involved in the political system. We have people who are already buying forms, you know, to vie for the upcoming election. But most importantly, we've also been engaging, you know, different stakeholders across party lines, you know, to make sure that they give opportunity not just for youths, okay, but for people who have the capacity. This is an awakening call to our young persons to put their destiny into their hands. We've always had that. Uh, the, the, the youths are the leaders of tomorrow, and that tomorrow doesn't seem to be coming. So young persons must first take responsibility for their future and collectively for the future of the nation. They cautioned that the youth should not be used as instrument of election mark practices. It remains to be seen what difference the 2023 election will look like as different interest groups are building consensus to enable them to present their best for the general election. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugu.